Hey everyone, it's Edge of Nightfall here, and in today's video, I'm going to go over five reasons why I personally will not give up the practice of meditation and why you shouldn't either. Let's get into the video. Reason number one, meditation literally changes the physical structure of the brain. This may sound like an odd point to start with, but this has a bigger impact than you might think. More and more studies nowadays are coming out showing that meditation physically changes the structure of the brain, similar to how learning a new language does. This is a game changer for people who want to get into meditation. Reason being is because all of the benefits that come with meditation, such as a decrease in anxiety and depression, as well as an increase in positive states of mind, become somewhat permanent. It's similar to how muscle memory works. When you practice a skill for a certain length of time, over time your muscles adapt to that repetitive movement. Even if you've given up the activity for a certain number of years, you might have noticed that your physical movement still works in a way that it did all those years ago. This is the same with meditation. In fact, in my life, I have noticed that when I've gone for a consistent period of time meditating daily, I've experienced the benefits of meditation. When I took a break from the practice, those benefits went away. However, when I picked up the practice again months down the line, I noticed that it wasn't nearly as difficult to get in the state of mind and retain that level of mental clarity that I did before I took the break. This is important because a lot of people view meditation as something that is inherently difficult to do, which does have an element of truth to it. However, if you are able to consistently practice it, going back to meditation will not be nearly as difficult as you might think. Reason number two strengthened intuition. One of the greatest and most underrated sense of guidance in life is your intuition. When you meditate, you increase the ability to tap into that intuition on a day-to-day -day basis. This has had a profound effect on my life, and during times where I've meditated consistently, I've noticed that being able to tap into that inner voice is easier than ever. And like I mentioned in my last point, there was a time where I took a break from meditation. During that time, I noticed that my ability to tap into my intuition started to dwindle fairly quickly. This showed me the huge difference between staying on point with a daily meditation routine and not. Reason number three. This is what I like to call the super response effect. Basically what this is, is after meditating consistently, basically what would happen was there would be times where something stressful would occur, and usually when these types of things would happen, I would spiral down into a feeling of dis disorientation, fear, anger, those types of things. But after meditating for a while, I noticed that when those types of situations would come up, without even realizing it, I would go into a state of complete mental clarity, where without even meaning to, I would form a strategic plan of action to take to deal with that given situation. Like I said, this was not the case before I started the practice of meditation, which really showed me the value of it when I did meditate take consistently. And I'm not the only one who experienced this. There are people who have been in way worse situations than I have, who because of how long they had practiced meditating for, were able to immediately get into that state of mental clarity rather than reacting to that given circumstance. Reason number four, meditation is the absolute foundation of any spiritual practice. I am a very spiritual person. I always have been, whether I realized it or not, whether I've been on the path or not, it's always been a part of who I am. Not only has meditation given my spiritual path as an occultist more depth than ever before, but it's also enabled me to have that sense of guidance that leads me where I need to go on my personal spiritual path. In the world of the occult, there is a lot of stuff you can study. There are so many different facets of the occult world, so many different areas of study that you can dive into. Being able to tap into that internal guidance system has allowed me to 
follow the correct steps for the greatest amount of progress I can make in my spirituality. I'll have times where out of the blue, I'll have a kind of intuitive hit where I feel drawn to engage in a certain spiritual practice just randomly. And when I follow through with it, oftentimes what I was drawn to in that moment will take my spirituality to the next level. And lastly, reason number five, which is possibly the most important reason. Meditation liberates your mind, which allows you to truly live life. This may seem like a no-brainer, but I cannot stress enough the importance of having the ability to be fully present in the moment. Like most of us, I will often get caught up in thoughts about the future or the past, and I'll kind of lose that sense of being in the present. This is part of what enables those negative emotions in one's life to come forth. When we are children, we typically are in a state of presence just by default. However, when we grow older, we oftentimes lose that state of presence to the point to where sometimes we don't even realize what's going on around us. It's like everything is on autopilot. It's not actually living. And I've noticed this take place in my life for sure. When I center myself with meditation, life takes on a whole new and I'm able to feel those states of awareness that I did when I was a child. So recently, I took a meditation class. Even though I've been practicing for a while now, I wanted to take this introduction on the topic as kind of a refresher. Going into it, I felt like there wasn't a whole lot that I was going to learn. I thought it was kind of a basic class that wasn't super important, but I just wanted to do it anyways. And yet, funny enough, even as someone who's practiced this for a while, this class completely blew me away. Even as someone who has meditated for a little while now, I went into this class with subconscious worries about the future and thoughts of the past. And I had this realization that while I was approaching it as just a part of a checklist, just something to get done, that in actuality, Meditation is not just something you do, but it's a lifestyle. It's a constant state of mind on a day-to-day -day basis. My way of going about it was completely turned upside down, even as advanced as I thought I was. And so I've realized that I want to go even further into this practice. I was reminded all over again of the power that meditation has and why I will never give up this practice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you guys like the content I'm putting out, be sure to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you never miss an upload. If you all have had experiences with meditation, please be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your stories of your various experiences with meditation. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.